Hey guys, today we'll be solving this differential equation root a plus x dy plus x dx is equal to zero. Might look kind of weird to someone who's just started differential equations, but it's super simple. So all we're going to do is, first we're going to bring this equation in the form of the equation that we are familiar with, which is dy by dx on the left and the rest on the right. So we can take this x dx to the right side, so it would become root a plus x dy is equal to minus x dx. Then we just bring the dx over here and the root on the right side. So we have dy by dx is equal to minus x upon root a plus x. Now, very simple way to do this is we just add and subtract an a over here. So as you can see, we have minus, let's just divide this into two different parts. We have minus, so we have an x plus a over here, and we have an x plus a in the denominator, and we have a minus a root a plus x. Okay, so this becomes, now I can cancel this out and I can turn this into root x plus a, right? Because this is just the square of the denominator. And this remains the same. So now I'm going to be integrating both sides with respect to x. So we have the integral of dy by dx with respect to x is equal to the integral of, let's just divide this into two different integrals right now. So we have one minus sign on the outside, x plus a dx, plus since a is a constant in our equation because we are integrating with respect to x, I'm going to take a outside of the integral and we have 1 upon root a plus x. Okay, now the integral of dy by dx with respect to x is just y and this is equal to minus. So this is x plus a raised to half because it's a square root. And over here itself, over here as well, this is x plus a raised to half. And now because this is a linear term, x doesn't have a coefficient which is another variable, it's just a linear term. So we can use the formulae that we know which are for the integration of x raised to n. Okay, so first I'm going to bring this in the numerator. So we have minus the integral of x plus a raised to half dx plus a the integral of. Now when I bring this in the numerator, it becomes raised to minus half the power becomes negative. Just basic indices. Now we're going to be using the rule x, the integral of x raised to n. So if you all remember, the integral of x raised to n with respect to x is equal to x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus or minus an arbitrary constant. Doesn't matter, the sign doesn't matter just because the constant is arbitrary. So we have y is equal to the minus sign, don't forget the minus sign, the power over here is half, so we have in our answer, we would have 1 plus half upon 1 plus half. Over here as well, we have an a outside, and in the answer, we would have x plus a minus half raised to, sorry, raised to minus half plus 1 upon minus half plus 1. And over here, I'm going to be writing minus c. You'll see why later. The sign doesn't matter because the constant is arbitrary. Okay, let's just complete this calculation. So we have half plus 1, which is 3 by 2. So x plus a raised to 3 by 2. In the denominator also, you would have 3 by 2. So let me just take the reciprocal and bring it up to the numerator. So it becomes 2 by 3. Over here, we have x plus a raised to half and in the denominator also you would have half because it's 1 minus half so it becomes plus a into 2 because if we have half in the denominator we can take its reciprocal to the numerator so it becomes plus 2a and x plus a raised to half is just root of x plus a and we have minus c so I'm going to bring this equation back in the form that it started with so we had an equal to sign and a constant so that's what we're going to be doing here. So let me just take c to the left side and we have y minus y minus 2 by 3 
x plus a raised to 3 by 2 plus 2a into the root of x plus a. Now please note, even if I did have plus c, it wouldn't matter because in that case, it would be y plus 2 by 3, x plus a, 3 by 2, raised to 3 by 2, plus 2a, root x plus a. This would be the final answer. It's equal to c. So both cases are fine. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching.